Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Enter the Gungeon. Welcome back, I should say. It's been a while, um, unless you're watching this one episode after another, in which case uh, it hasn't been a while. And if this is your first time coming, then welcome. Uh, so, coming back to Enter the Gungeon, we are trying to reorient ourselves to how exactly to play this game. Um, I think we did a pilot run last time. Um, so let's do a hunter run. That sounds fun. Um, so yeah, don't expect anything spectacular in the uh, near future of these runs, but I'm saying this now, and I'm sure I'll be laughing at it in two weeks, a month's time, but I'm, I'm trying very hard, very hard in the new year, it's my new year's resolution, as ridiculous as that sounds, to be better at releasing content and all sorts of content, uh, stream content, Ow, that was horrible. Uh, stream content, video content, all that good stuff. So, we are the hunter, and we've already taken damage, but unlike Isaac, that doesn't actually matter as far as uh, our long-term chances go. It only matters for our short-term chances. I don't know if my audio has been reset a little bit here, so let me fix this. I should have... Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, um, I'll just deal with it then. Here we are, and, uh, yeah, okay, so are we supposed to leave those? I think we're supposed to leave them, because I don't think rats take them, or whatever they're called. Is he a rat? Is he a mouse? What is he? I think he's a rat. Rats are typically not looked upon very fondly in media of any sort, which is kind of ridiculous, because I freaking love rats. I think they're the coolest things. Ow, that was rude. Um, we're doing much better. Well, I shouldn't say much better. We're doing better than we did on the pawn our uh, beginning of this run. That was close, to say the least. Did my bullets actually hit those books? That's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, so yeah, we're doing all right. But like I said, don't expect anything fantastic from these runs. I'm. Uh, we're just working on getting back into the game, and then we can actually work on getting better at it once we familiarize ourselves with the controls once again. It shouldn't take too long. I actually, um, part of the delay in videos has been... What's this? Hello? Oh, there's a chest in it. Do I need to go behind? Do I just, like... Okay. Interesting. I don't want to shoot it, because it might break. And that doesn't seem like the solution to the puzzle, but... That. We'll, we'll come back to that. We also have a key that we can come back for, so we, we got tons of backtracking to do. Um, but part of the delay in videos was the holiday season, where I go home for the holidays and consequently don't take my computer with me. So not only am I bored out of my mind when it comes to things to do, because my computer is in many ways my life, but uh, I didn't really have access to any games, and I actually tried to play Gungeon over the break, but unfortunately it seems as though my laptop is too shitty to actually be able to run it. So we have Big Iron. I, I do not recall seeing this gun before, and I don't recall purchasing it recently either, but that doesn't say a whole lot. Heart Lockets. Um, why, why is there a... Do all items have a question mark at the end? No. Those have question marks. You see that? That's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot I'm not supposed to shoot. Okay. Um, so, I want that heart locket because, as far as I'm aware, that gives me more health, which we are going to need. We are going to need it desperately. Um, so, yeah, that was actually a profound disappointment to me that I wasn't able to play Gungeon because I was like, you know what? I'm going to play some Gungeon. I'm going to get better at it over the break. And we're going to... Uh, what the hell is that? You see something? Does that mean there's a... Nope. Okay. Well, that was interesting. I know the dog can find things, but I don't know exactly what he finds or how he finds them. Uh, we also haven't actually found a... an item room, a gun room, a 
chest. What do you want to call them in this game? What I did play over break. I played, um, who, what did I play? I played a little bit of Isaac. I really, I think my time with Isaac is pretty well and done with. Especially with some of the things that you kind of need to do to 100% the game. Uh, strangely enough, Isaac was one of the few games that I ever had the motivation to 100%. I don't know why. Um, I think I got to a point where I just played it enough to get to like 80-85% completion, and I was like, you know what the hell. To experience all the content means to 100% anyway, so I'm going to do that. But with the introduction of um, Afterbirth Plus, they added achievements like play uh, the daily five times without dying, or play the daily for 30 days in a row um, without missing one. And those are more exercises in tedium than they are actual challenges. So I don't, um, because of, if only because of that, I don't really have a motivation to 100% Afterbirth Plus, um, and as a result, I actually don't really have that much of a motivation to buy it either, which is fine. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to tell anyone that they have to buy anything, certainly. Um, I'm comfortable with not buying it, at least for the time being, until it goes on sale to kind of supplement it. Because I do have quite a few hours in Isaac, and I do enjoy the game, but I don't, I just, I don't have the motivation that I once did. I put so much effort into, so we can pick this up now, I think. Um, put so much effort into 100%ing that game, and I was just, I'm still burned out on it. Uh, but I am very much enjoying watching people play it and uh, kind of experiencing the the progress and the revelation vicariously through them. I think that's a lot of uh, a lot of fun. Other than that, let's see here. Um, okay, so is that red? That's red or brown or something? Um, I don't want to open it yet. We're just going to wait for everything and then we're going to go back and look through all the chests so we're going to figure out exactly what we have the resources to uh to purchase there was also a key in the shop i believe so we should probably go and buy that we're doing well on keys um quite well in fact but yes um oh that's the boss room perfect let's go back here briefly let's buy a key um shit we'll have to come back for this We'll have to come back for that, because I I probably should have bought that first. Actually, given the number of keys we have, I definitely should have bought that first. But, oh well. What are you going to do about it? Um, what do we do here? There's got to be... Come on. I don't, under, I don't understand. Oh! Okay. And it broke. But we got the mahogany. Um, I actually think this is a pretty good gun. I'm probably wrong in saying that, but I think it's pretty good. We'll see. That might be our best option for boss killing weapons or or what have you. Regardless, we're going to get a decent amount of, of weapons here, which is going to serve us well in the long run. This is the helix. Slice and dice. Ah, yes. Okay, that's not particularly good as far as I'm concerned. Oh, and we have the crossbow, that's right. I need to remember that. That's actually probably our best option when it comes to killing bosses. We can open this chest because we have plenty of keys. And I really see no downside to doing so. It's laser sight or scope? Okay. Uh, that's not going to affect our crossbow much, but the rest of our things may be better. Okay, we do not have enough money to buy the buy the heart container, so we're just going to go in here with the crossbow and I think do our best. This is Trigger Twins? Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. I say that having not played this game for an extensive period of time, so I make no promises that we're going to be able to flawless this, but we're going to try our best. And if we can avoid um, rolling as much as possible, I don't like this. Come on. Oh, we missed. 
Just... There we go. Right, he enrages, which isn't great, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. We're... Oh, and we're out of we're out of flashes because we used one. I'm glad I realized that before I got myself in a situation where I was trying to use one and was not able to. Oh, did we do it? Oh, we did it. That was quite well executed. If I can pat myself on the back for that one. Quite good. Did we not get any money? We also got the void shotgun and a health upgrade. Cool. Um. It doesn't seem like we got any money, which is kind of disappointing. I thought we got money for these things, but maybe money comes as a consolation prize when you don't perfect it. Well, that's disappointing, but we did get a uh, we did get a health upgrade, one way or another. So I can't complain too much. All right, down to the next level. Doing good so far. Doing good. Ah, oh, yes. But what else? What was I playing? Um, played a lot of Hearthstone. A lot of people are into Hearthstone. <laughs> That's the first thing that I can say about that. Um, a lot of times, not necessarily to its benefit. I should not be using this as a room clear. Maybe I should be using Mahogany. I don't think those can hurt me. So I shouldn't be too concerned about it. Yeah, I'm going to use this for time being. Is it the best decision I could be making? Probably not. But. It doesn't even do that much damage. But it's fairly accurate, which is actually going to serve us quite well. Oh god, I can't believe I made that. So yeah, Hearthstone. Um, for anyone that plays Hearthstone, you're probably familiar with a lot of the things. Uh, I don't want to get too much into it, because people that don't know well. Oh, you're probably better off that way, truthfully. But suffice it to say that it is, in fact, a Blizzard game, and can often be extremely frustrating when you are not... Uh, in Blizzard's favor, so to speak. That is to say, um, Blizzard likes to balance in a way that is taking turns with being powerful and not being powerful. Uh, spare a couple of classes, usually, or, or characters who typically get a pass to that rule. Um, ooh, whoa, that was quite well done. Ooh, hello there. Um, so yeah, when you're not in favor... It can often be frustrating, but that's the way the game goes. And then the other remarkable thing uh, is Red Dead Redemption, which... Oh, goodness. Um, okay, well, we lost our armor, so there goes that. That was probably a mistake on my part. I didn't really take the time to recognize this guy. What is he? What is he? A dark nut? A gun nut, maybe? That's actually probably exactly what he's called. I have no idea, however. Okay, we can't go that way... Got a decent amount of money, so we can find a shop. We should be doing it right there. Uh, but yeah, with with um, one of 2017's largest releases, Red Dead Redemption 2, the presumed title at this point. I don't know if that's actually confirmed. Um, yeah, I was I was curious about it, having heard good things about it in the past, um, both online. Wow, that was not the best damage. I. I thought I'd check it out for myself. There's a an awesome little little um I don't know, I it's it's completely impossible to describe and from my experience there's a lot of locations like it across the country. If you have um if you have any sort of store which is kind of a collection of gaming memorabilia and um kind of nerd culture but is not a, 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 I don't, you wouldn't call it an, an amateur store, but like an individually owned store. It's a, a franchise, I suppose. Uh, not well known, mind you, but a franchise nonetheless. Uh, and it contains posters, and, and this one actually contains records and movies and stuff like that. Great place to go, but um, excellent location for used video games, particularly of the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 era. So I went there and I picked up Red Dead Redemption and decided to spend my time playing through it. And uh, I probably got through it in about, oh, let's look at this. I don't remember if this is a difficult one or not, but I will play your game, sir. 30, I thought it was 20. I feel like they're ripping me off. Alrighty. 
simple geometry. Probably said that last time. Oh, that was... Oh! They bounced three times. I knew that. Well. We tried our best. <laughs> I could have done a lot better at mapping this out. In all honesty. Yeah, well... You're right, that was almost cool, but we got a chest out of it, so it could have been worse. A mustache? What? Don't mind if I do. A familiar face. What is that? Thing? Mustache. Chance to heal when money is spent. Oh, I get it, because it's the, it's like the merchant. Huh. You know, I was about to say that's really bad, but it's actually not. When you consider that it might be more valuable, depending on the chance. I don't know what the chance is. If it's fairly low, then it probably is pretty bad. Um, and obviously it's bad on the... Oh, that's my shotgun. I don't want to be using that. Um, it's bad under the um, line of logic that you shouldn't be taking damage in the first place. But that's not really an appropriate way of arguing whether or not something's good or bad. Because that means 90% of defensive items in any game. Not just a game like this, but I'm not quite sure what hit me there, but I'll let it just slide this time. 90% um, of defensive items are poor by that by that line of logic. And True, it's poor play to be taking damage, but yes, Red Dead Redemption. Um, it was, it, it took me probably about, it's hard to gauge time during a break, because you don't have other things to be doing often during time off, so it can be uh, difficult to metric exactly how long you've been doing something. I would say a conservative estimate would be anywhere between like 16 and 20 hours to complete the entire game. And um, I enjoyed it. It was very clearly, um, if I'm getting my timeline right, Although I very well might be not. Lead skin. I feel like that's good. I feel like I've heard that's good. But I don't know. Okay, we can't we can't be doing things here. And we got an area. Did we find the boss room? We did, didn't we? Yeah, it's right there. Um I don't I don't know when GTA 4 came out. I really don't. But I, I'm pretty I'm almost certain. Actually I am certain. That it was not between the years of 2008. Oh, I don't know if it was like 2009, maybe? I, I truthfully don't know. Um, I want to say that Red Dead Redemption was a Rockstar game that came out in between GTA 4 and GTA 5. Because GTA 5 came out in 2014. Um, I don't know that for certain, but just, you know, bear with me. Supply drop. A key armor by that he is how much 30 did we heal on that i wasn't actually paying attention i don't think we did oh, well. oh hi there i didn't think that there there's another room to go through um but i think it came out in between gta 4 and gta 5 and uh that's fairly clear mechanically it plays very GTA-ish, and I think that's why people... Oh, well, let's open it, because I don't have any plans not to, really. Master unlo of Unlocking. Play well, get keys. I don't know how well that's going to serve us. Um, that seems like more of a long-term long item. Uh, also, it requires us to play well, which is probably not something we're going to succeed in doing. Hey, but we got some money out of that, and we got a clobber. Interesting. I, I have no idea if that's actually how you pronounce that. I can almost guarantee you it's not, but that's how I'm going to say it. Oh, the holster. I don't know if I've fought him before. Maybe once? Less frequently. Although, admittedly, I don't make it to the second, uh, the second floor all that often anyway. We're not doing a whole lot of damage, I just realized. So it's probably... And there goes our... Uh... Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, shit. Alright, change of tactics. 
and that was disappointing to say the least. So the little eye guys, yeah, we're probably going to die here. Does it show that I'm inexperienced with this boss? Oh goodness. very hard to focus here. It seems like if you can keep his little eye dudes in check, these missiles are giving me all sorts of trouble, though. And I'm out of, uh... I'm not supposed to, like, guide them back into him, am I? It doesn't seem like you can actually do that. Oh, shit. That was... That was horrible. That was absolutely awful. But he's very tanky. He's very tanky. Anyway. Um, Red Dead Redemption. 7.5 out of 10. That's my rating. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode, and uh, until next time, stay classy, and I'll see you then.